verses 8 through 10. Paul entered the synagogue and spoke boldly there for three months, arguing persuasively about the kingdom of God. But some of them became obstinate. They refused to believe and publicly maligned the way. So Paul left them. He took the disciples with him and had discussions daily in the lecture hall of Tyrannus. This went on for two years so that all the Jews and Greeks who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. Why do you think some of the Jews would become obstinate? They didn't believe in Jesus. Yep, they wanted to hold on to the law. It says that Paul took the believers. He had preached there for three months, and he took those from among them there in the synagogue. He took the believers, and he moved the location of his ministry. And it says here that he had discussions with them daily. And what that means is it means that he gave them systematic teaching. That's what that word means, systematic teaching. Okay? He started at the beginning, and he built on that, and he built on that, and he built on that, and he built on that. There was a method, I guess I wouldn't want to call it Paul's madness, but there was a method that Paul used, all right? And that it was systematic. There was a, a scope and sequence to what he was teaching. He did this for two years, it says. So you have two years plus the three months, plus a little bit later in this chapter, it says that he was there a little longer. So Paul was in Ephesus for almost three years. And that is the longest localized ministry of Paul that we know of in the book of Acts. So he spent a lot of time in Ephesus. And he put a lot of effort into Ephesus. Now think about what we said about the city of Ephesus earlier. Why would Paul make this city such, um, such a key part of ministry? And Paul knew if he could get the gospel planted in Ephesus, that from Ephesus it would travel out to different areas. Because Ephesus was a hub and people went through there. They would go there, get things, then travel back. They would go there for business and then move on. And if he could get uh, the gospel, have a beachhead there in Ephesus, he knew that the gospel would spread from that location. Now, if you had two years to teach someone scripture, what would you say were the necessary things to teach? 